Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name's Emiko and today we're going to be reviewing these Artist Lofts Graphite Pencil, the 12 piece. Now this is a supply that's very popular in every artist supply art collections. Now this is also good for all the way from beginners all the way until professionals. Now today we're going to be reviewing the quality and how to use it basically. And that we're going to be reviewing with how it sharpens, how well it erases. Now this is the basics and this is a special eraser within the art world called the kneaded eraser. And then we're going to also review how well it does with white gel pens or white acrylics because if those who don't aren't who don't know we do work with white other materials to get the best white or the most solid blacks within our artworks all right let's get straight to it okay guys so as you can see here i just set up a whole different other value scale thing just like we saw in the back of the boxing so it is pretty accurate from what they showed and they definitely have a huge scale of values which is perfect for anybody drawing anything basically so value scale it's perfect it's really really good now for erasing this is going to be i use the 2b erase, uh, pencil on this one and it erases really really well Sometimes the kneaded eraser is going to work a little bit better just because it cleans itself, which I'll show you in a different video. You know, usually as any typical person would know, the darker the pencil, the more difficult it is going to erase. And the lighter, the easier. So this is really good still to erase and use. And then for smudge, so um, you don't know, in a lot of art worlds, we do smudge our artworks just to get some shading, some certain other values. Like as you could see here, from dark street to light, you don't want that all the time. But this is just a little swipe across the paper just to get the smudge and it smudges very well. So today we did really well. Um, these pencils sharpen really, really well and it gets to a really good tip. And then you could even use, you know, those sharpeners that have the thicker entrance and then the smaller entrance. You do want to um, use the thinner entrance just because a finer point is what you're looking for when you are using graphite pencils but then again if you want to um, get a bulkier tip that's fine too uh, you could always use that for bigger surfaces that you're going to start working on now i did mention um how for smudging uh graphite does smudge if you've worked with graphite you will be very aware and familiar that it will smudge like no other material it's messy especially when you're working with charcoal which is still graphite now to avoid things like that because i know that with being a left-handed person that is something that you're going to struggle with a lot now i am right-handed and even i struggle with this because I could be working on one part of my drawing and transfer over to another and not realizing that I have graphite on that surface. So to avoid that, we get bridges. Bridges are going to be a wooden block or anything of that material, usually it's in wood, where it's lifted within an inch or two max, where you could rest your wrist on or your hand and work on your art piece above your paper or your canvas. Now. If you don't want a bridge or if you don't want that you could just go as simple as getting a piece of tissue under your hand or even paper towel it's okay try to avoid dragging it too much on the paper just because they are materials that you are able to use a smudge let alone your finger i would actually recommend using paper or uh, the bridge instead of using tissue or paper towel just to avoid the smudging now you can smudge with your fingers, but I usually try to avoid that just because your hands do carry oils and sweat and just certain things you don't want to be putting on your paper because sometimes you can't erase that and sometimes you can mess up your piece by doing that. So definitely recommend using a piece of paper or buying yourself a bridge. Just be really careful, you know, sometimes people are pretty good about that, but unlike myself, or for those who are a little bit you know in a left-handed world can't always function like that 
So today and overall, um, reviewing these products went really well. Something you could use for years. It's been around for years. Now you could also use graphite in mixed media, paintings, or drawings. So if you have acrylic, if you have watercolor, these work really well with them as well. And if you want with the gel pen, it works really well as well. These um, gel pens are meant to use for the whitest of the white areas in your drawing or in your painting. So this is something for small details, this is great. And if you want, you could even use a paintbrush with acrylic paint white, titanium white. That's great as well, that's what I do as well. Now, for erasing, you could use any kind of eraser, but there are better ones than others out there. And for me, I would recommend to get yourself a kneaded eraser which is not expensive they last you forever they never disappear like the little you know ones that disappear eventually and they don't make a mess so that's the other good thing so we'll be doing a different video on erasers mainly on the kneaded eraser in depth so you could always watch that and look out for that on my youtube channel thanks for joining me have a wonderful day and i hope to see you again